Italy, a boot-shaped country in Southern Europe, has become a favorite travel destination for plenty of reasons. Art treasures, trendy fashion stores, breathtaking scenery, welcoming people, and world-class cuisine are all on offer when visiting this European gem. Italy has so much to discover, and in our opinion, it is one of the world's must-visit travel destinations. Today, we'll be taking a look at the, the best places to visit in the country, from majestic cities to unmissable tourist attractions scattered around the peninsula. The Amalfi Coast, located in Italy's southwestern province of Campania, is recognized for its breathtaking beauty. The coast, which stretches 30 miles down the southern side of the Sorrento Peninsula, is known for its scenic shoreline, with glistening coves, rugged cliffs, lemon tree gardens, multicolored houses, and luxurious resorts. Positano is one of the most charming and elegant villages on the Amalfi Coast, with its gorgeous pebbled beaches, pastel buildings, and magnificent mountains as a backdrop. One of the major towns, Amalfi, has wonderful plazas lined with traditional tavernas, while Ravello is known for its beautiful houses with gardens and artworks. The best time to visit the Amalfi Coast is in May or the beginning of autumn. You'll avoid the summer crowds while enjoying the beautiful Mediterranean weather. Capri, located just off the shore, is a beautiful island you should visit once there. To get to Capri, take a 45-minute ferry from Naples for about 20 euros. The Fara Leone is one of my favorite features on the island. It's an outstanding sea stack that protrudes from the island. When you explore Capri, we recommend renting a boat as it's an excellent way to tour the entire island and discover all of its hidden grottos and coastline. Venice, one of Europe's most particular destinations, is a one-of-a-kind city situated on an Adriatic sea-surrounded lagoon. Venice is a 118-island archipelago in northeastern Italy, connected by hundreds of gorgeous bridges and canals. The Grand Canal is the most well-known, and it separates the city into two sections. With its picturesque rivers and old buildings, Venice is one of the world's most attractive cities. It is typically congested, but it is definitely worth a visit to view its stunning sights, including St. Mark's Square and Basilica and Rialto Bridge. Spring, from March to May, is considered by many to be one of the best times to visit Venice. During this time, the city awakens from its winter slumber and the weather begins to warm up. Springtime in Venice brings blooming flowers, longer days, and fewer crowds compared to the peak summer months. It's an ideal time to explore the city's historic landmarks, stroll along the canals, and enjoy outdoor activities such as gondola rides and walks through the city's neighborhoods. The Italian Lake District spans across northern Italy. The southern ends of the lakes are rather level, but the northern ends are hilly since they extend deep into the Alps. The Italian lakes have been a favorite among travelers for over a century, thanks to their mild temperatures and picturesque surroundings. Garda is the largest lake and has a spectacular aesthetic, particularly in its hilly northern portions. Lake Como is equally appealing, with forested slopes rising directly from the water's edge. Lying at the foot of the Alps, this lake is a sight to behold. It is shaped like an upside-down letter Y and is famous for its surroundings and luxurious houses. Lake Como has been dubbed as one of the world's most beautiful lakes. It is difficult to argue. Many Hollywood celebrities own villas here and tend to use them as a getaway from the hustle and bustle of their daily lives. Maggiore is further west and less popular, yet it is equally amazing, with several popular family resorts. Sardinia, just off the west coast of Italy's mainland, is the second largest island in the Mediterranean. Its reputation precedes it, with an immaculate shoreline, gorgeous beaches, and blue waters. Sardinia provides an unforgettable escape for anyone seeking an escape into nature. The Golfo di Orosei, which runs down the island's eastern shore for 40 kilometers, is one of its most stunning features. Here, sharp cliffs meet discreet beaches, creating a landscape that inspires both wonder and fascination. Exploring this area needs an appetite of adventure, as many of its hidden beauties are only accessible by foot or boat. Renting a boat is strongly suggested, allowing visitors to explore the entire shoreline. Cala Golaritza stands out among the many treasures of the Golfo di Orosei. This famous cove features a spectacular rock structure framed by clear waters, creating an unrivaled sight of beauty. 
The stunning Dolomites in northern Italy are well known for their rough grandeur and imposing peaks, and they provide numerous opportunities for adventure. Sassita is a breathtaking alpine setting where lush green slopes meet sharp ridges, giving an outstanding view. Accessible via two gondolas, the peak offers breathtaking panoramic views. Close by, one can find Alpe di Siusi. Known as Europe's largest high alpine meadow, Alpe di Siusi captivates visitors with its expansive landscapes and farm huts, which set against the backdrop of the Sassolungo mountain range. Hiking and photography are popular activities here. No trip to the Dolomites is complete without seeing Tresime di Lavaredo. From dramatic mountains to calm valleys, there are countless natural treasures to uncover. With the stunning scenery and numerous possibilities for thrill, a trip to the Dolomites is sure to be a memorable experience for those who venture on it. Cinque Terre, which translates to five lands, consists of five villages, Rio Maggiore, Manarola, Vernazza, Monterosso, and Cornelia. Found in Italy's northwestern coastal area of Liguria, this region boasts some of the country's greatest views, including high cliff sides and centuries-old wine terraces. Cinque Terre treasures include a centuries-old network of hiking pathways that provide some of Italy's most breathtaking coastal panoramas. The charming fishing villages that grace the coastline of this region have stood for hundreds of years, bearing witness to the region's rich maritime heritage. Dating back to ancient times, these settlements have weathered the challenges of history, including pirate raids during the Middle Ages. To safeguard against such threats, sturdy fortifications were erected, serving as protection against potential invasions. Among these picturesque villages, Vernazza holds a special place in the hearts of many travelers. Renowned for its natural harbor, it stands as a testament to St. Cater's enduring fishing traditions. Its authenticity and allure make it a cherished gem along the Italian coast, embodying the incomparable charm of St. Cater's coastal communities. Milan was nearly decimated by massive bombings throughout World War II, but it has since been repaired and is one of Europe's wealthiest cities today. Milan is best known as an immense fashion hub packed with designer shops, but it also draws many visitors to its remaining world-famous treasures, like Leonardo da Vinci's artwork, The Last Supper, the La Scala Opera House, and one of the world's largest Gothic cathedrals. Nonetheless, Milan can appear less Italian than the country's largely ancient cities, and more of a glitzy city with modern architecture. Aside from its historic landmarks, Milan is a city brimming with life. Its lively streets are lined with cafes, trendy bars, and restaurants. Milan is also a center of innovation and creativity, with art galleries, contemporary museums, and cutting-edge architecture that reflect the city's innovative traits. In essence, Milan is a city of contrasts, where ancient traditions meet modern improvement. Whether strolling around its streets, admiring its architectural marvels, or indulging in its food, this city provides an intriguing experience. Tuscany, Italy's most popular region, evokes views of picturesque rolling hills, olive trees, and never-ending vineyards. Tuscany offers numerous delights, including wine tasting in Chianti, serene hill towns like San Gimignano, and Renaissance art in Florence. Florence, Tuscany's capital, represents the Renaissance era through its abundance of art and architecture. Beyond its landmarks, Florence radiates a vibrant energy with cafes, workshops, and lively marketplaces set among winding cobblestone streets. Close by is Pisa, famous for its leaning tower. This city features a variety of architectural styles that represent its lengthy past. The Piazza dei Miracoli, where the tower stands, exemplifies Pisa's medieval magnificence with the Cathedral of Santa Maria Assunta and the Baptistry nearby. Aside from its historical sites, Pisa is a dynamic city with a strong cultural scene making it an enticing place to visit. Siena, a medieval city, also has exceptional works of art, and its historic center is one of Italy's most famous tourist attractions. Sicily, the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, is an independent province of Italy that comprises a number of smaller islands. It is separated from the mainland region of Calabria by the two-mile Messina Strait, 
Sicily, home to every great Mediterranean civilization, is rich in art and history, ranging from Agrigento's Valley of the Temples to Palermo's Baroque churches. Tower Mina, located in eastern Sicily, is an exquisite town built high on a hill overlooking the Ionian Sea. Known for its insane views, cobblestone paths, and ancient Greek theater, this town oozes elegance on each corner. Visitors can explore the historic center, eat Sicilian food at local trattorias, or simply enjoy the views of the coast in Mount Etna. Europe's tallest active volcano commands the Sicilian skyline with its imposing presence. Mount Etna, located on the island's eastern side, allows brave travelers to traverse its rugged slopes, observe volcanic activity up close, and wonder at its lunar-like scenery. Rome, the former capital of the Roman Empire, is now the nation's government base and capital city. Located in the country's center province of Lazio, Rome is a large metropolis that is both classical and modern. Best renowned for its historic Roman ruins in Vatican City, Rome has been a cultural, political, and religious center for over 2,500 years. At its core is the renowned Colosseum, a wonder of ancient engineering and a symbol of Rome's imperial past. This amphitheater originally staged gladiatorial contests and magnificent spectacles, bringing spectators from all over the empire. Today, it remains one of Rome's most iconic landmarks, captivating visitors with its imposing facade and storied past. The Spanish steps wind through Rome's historic center, forming an attractive staircase covered with colorful flowers and bustling with both inhabitants and visitors. This historic monument provides a gorgeous backdrop for leisurely strolls and people watching, as well as breathtaking views of the city below. From historical romantic plazas to spectacular cathedrals and Renaissance architecture, Rome has loads to offer. The Vatican City, the Catholic Church's spiritual and administrative center, is only just a few kilometers away. This independent city-state is home to St. Peter's Basilica and the Vatican Museums, as well as some of the world's most famous artworks and sacred treasures, such as Michelangelo's breathtaking Sistine Chapel ceiling. Share your favorite destination in Italy with us in the comments below. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We appreciate you coming along on this journey through Italy with us, and we wish you more wonder and joy on your travels in the future.